Rachel now does her best to give back to her Weight Watchers group, telling her story to provide hope and support to its members. Now, if you look at the, the pictures, I know that you've seen them, those of you been members before, but some of you new people, if you come up and have a look at these before pictures of Rachel, you won't believe it's the same person. And I remember when your entry form arrived, Rachel, and it was a lot of wow, <laughs> lot of wow factor looking at that. And before we've got you there, how much did you weigh um, um, at that stage? I was 126.5 kilos when I weighed in the first day. Well, I think Rachel has really been an inspiration to most, a lot of people at Weight Watchers, and she'll carry on, I guess, being an inspiration. And Rachel's advice for those who want to lose weight? You have to really want it. Grab hold of it with both hands and don't give up. If you have a bad day, so what? You have to make the next day a good one. Just forget about it. Don't beat yourself up about it because it's not emotionally constructive. Write down everything that you eat. It'll keep you honest. If you write down all of those little tidbits that you ate while you were preparing to, you'll realise that you've actually already had an entire meal. Get up and do some exercise. It doesn't take a lot. Just get up, take the kids for a walk, take the dog for a walk, or meet a friend in the park instead of meeting them for coffee. Just little bits and pieces like that and having good quality non-stick cookware in your kitchen and getting rid of all the garbage out of the cupboards. You just have to prepare yourself, get organised and be honest with yourself. It took time, discipline and the motivation to change her ways for good to get Rachel to where she is today. But although the journey was hard, Rachel couldn't be happier she made it. I feel I am a completely different person. There is no resemblance between me physically or emotionally. The person that I was before and the person that I am now. I, my family doesn't recognise me. My grandfather had to look twice when he saw me for the first time in about a year and then burst into tears and cried all weekend. <laughs> I have clients come and visit me at work and because they haven't seen me for months, they'll walk into reception and ask me where Rachel was. At first that was a little embarrassing, but uh, I'm getting used to it. And I actually enjoy it because they, they acknowledge how far I've come and they remind me not to go back there.